Well, the great thing about hunting in North Dakota mainly is not just the beauty of the landscape, but there's so many ducks there and so many different species. So for us to be able to, to hunt the prairies is a real treat, because in Minnesota it's more of a hit or miss type thing, but out there there's so much land protected and so many ducks that if, if you do your scouting you're going to have a great hunt like we did. I grew up uh, in a family of artists and duck hunters. I kind of got the art side from my mom and the duck hunting from my dad. You know, I was looking for a, a career at the time and I thought what a better way than to uh, involve duck hunting and painting. Well, Jim's the youngest brother and he got into it. He was the first to get into it and really thought he could make a, a living at it and he got us inspired to do the same thing and got us going. I mean, the most striking thing for me is just both of them compare to how different they are. Jim is uh, pretty meticulous, organized, and Bob is the opposite. <laughs> when I was about 16 and I started dabbling a little bit with the painting, I didn't have a camera, I didn't have any reference, and I remember my mom went to a garage sale and got a huge stack of DU magazines. And here was all these pictures of these ducks. So in 1989, I won my first contest, and that was just an amazing experience. Well, DU is just, I've always liked DU, and it's just a great organization, and it's such an important thing to the wetlands that I don't know what we'd do without an organization like that. I remember my dad saying, mark the spot on the map, he said, this is waterfall production area bought with duck stamp dollars. You can hunt there and no one will harass you. So that's what we grew up hunting. So it means a lot to give back to that program and continue to expand it. It's a great feeling to see the uh, prairie pothole region and then you see a sign with duck stamp dollar, raised by duck stamp dollars and it just really makes you feel good to know that your artwork helped in preserving so much land. The prairie pothole region is extremely important when we talk about the future of our waterfowl resource. Over 50% of the breeding pairs that settle in the U.S. prairie pothole region settle in North Dakota each spring. I guess every painting I do is a new endeavor for me usually starts with some kind of experience that I've had duck hunting or fishing or just being in the wild and that's really the most exciting part when you see something and you just want to try to capture it in paint. hunting in the natural landscape of what the landscape's providing, and then seeing what the morning unfolds. It's just a good feeling to be involved in a program that you know is so successful actually be involved and be able to design the painting on the stamp is really it's a good feeling.
just an extra bonus on top. I mean, we love to paint, we love to paint wildlife, and then to have it be used as a part of pro a program that is, is such a benefit to wildlife and to all the people that use it, you know. All that gets turned into, through fish and wildlife people, through organizations like Ducks Unlimited. It's just, uh, it's just really satisfying to see how much can be made out of a little painting. Well, being a wildlife artist has just been great because I've been able to see my artwork reproduced as stamps and raise money, and it makes it really easy for an artist to contribute, donate art, and see your work help raise money for the wetlands and different projects.